What up, MMO fans? What up, bitches? Check it out, check it out. This is not an official episode. This is what uh, Anomaly calls just winging. All right? So, um, we're, I know that we're going to definitely check out. There's a couple of things on Creator's Corner. Those of you last night who saw that emergency Creator's Corner that I put up for Sin, that Neon Knight Riders is just the shit. I, I was playing that like you wouldn't believe. It was some good stuff. That's in part why I didn't get much sleep last night because we were trying to troubleshoot as to why the scaling was bigger on my PC as opposed to his. So I, I know it's nothing wrong with this coding. It's probably just a, a setting issue somewhere along the line. So we're, we're going to try and work that out. But one thing I wanted to tackle today. Um, I know we had announced that we're making attempts to get out to E3. Now, NMO as media, we already had the, you know, had the qualifications for the passes and everything. The problem was getting there, sustaining ourselves there. I mean, it, it's, I, I think maybe I should have done some research as to the expenses. Something like that would need to be planned out in advance and whatnot. And being that, you know, the donations, we got a couple here and there, but we use that mainly towards taking care of our tournament stuff. Yeah, like that, you know, other shirts, you know, things like yeah, that. Yeah, the new shirts, things like that. So those of you who contributed, we, we... Definitely thank you for that. Yeah, but for the most part, I think that as far as, like, what E3 goes, um, we're going to make another attempt, and we're going to start planning now. Er earlier. So we got a year. Even if we, you know, don't make EVO 2011, we probably can, It's like know, one or the other when we go and do either EVO or E3. Yeah, but. it is, it, it, it's a, a, a steep investment to get there, you know, so, I mean, and, and here's the funny thing, with the hotels, trying to book a hotel over there, they know, they know people are coming, so the price, the, the rates go up, you know, so... That's kind of what happened with that. So though, that's to explain to you why E3 wasn't uh, covered by us in person. But I mean, honestly, the only good thing for you to win was for the 360 slam. Actually, from what oh. the reviews. But from the reviews of the E3, I wasn't impressed with a lot of stuff they had this year. That is true. That you know, is true. It was a lot of was reboots with a lot of stuff. That's true. So, you so know, we're going to take a quick happens. intermission off of this intro, and then we're going to go into a couple topics as far as E3 is concerned. All right, we'll be back.